G'day, it's Rusty and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be picking up on a job that we were originally tried to do on the six part series when we, when we upgraded from the camper trailer to this pop-up van that I now take prospecting. And one of the jobs in the electrical system was to include these solar panels on the roof. Well, I never got around to doing it before I went away that last time. So I took a portable solar panel with me and we fitted an Anderson plug underneath and we just plugged that in. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna mount these three 100 watt solar panels up on the roof. And being a pop top roof, we've gotta make allowances for the weight as well. So when we added new gas struts to the, to the pop top roof, we upgraded them so they're a stronger unit. And these panels are 100 watt each, operating voltage of 20 volts, approximately five amps each coming out of them and they weigh 6.4 kilos each. So 19.2 kilos of total weight of the panels, which is really not gonna affect the, uh, the roof struts. And the way we're gonna put this together is I'm gonna make an aluminium angle iron frame, and these three will sit in the frame. And then on each side of the pop top roof, I'm gonna have four L-shaped brackets. So there'll be so two at the front, two at the back. And then sitting on top of that will be a, a 40 by 25 aluminium rectangular box section sitting across. And then this will sit on top of that. So, and I'll have little tabs on the, on the frame that'll bolt to the, 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 the rails, the cross rails, and I'll bolt the angle iron plates on, and then we'll bolt the, 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 the rectangular frame to that. So um, I'm using aluminium because it's lighter and I do need to just make sure I keep the, the, the panels up off the, the roof of the uh, pop top roof, but not so high up in the air. Obviously I've, I've got, you know, when traveling you want them fairly low. But. So what I'll do first is I'll make the frame and then we'll, we'll go on to making the, the box section and then we'll make the, the L shaped brackets and we'll put the whole thing together. And what we'll do is I've got for these a three, three into one connector. These got these MC4 plugs on them. So I've got some three into one connectors for the positive and the negative lead. We'll run it down the side of the van, come into the back of the electrical cabinet, and we'll have um, that connection into the DC-DC charger that we're running in the electrical system. And when we connect these panels together, the three of them together, uh, we'll, they'll be in parallel. So the operating voltage is still gonna be at 20 volts we get to add the current from all three panels together. So if we got four, out of, four amps out of each one, or five amps out of each one, that's like 12 to 15 amps total going into the solar side of the DC-DC charger. So that should be enough to, to keep our battery charged up during the day. All right, so please excuse my uh, freehand drawing. So this represents the angle iron frame, and it's 38, 38 by three aluminum angle iron. This is the panel, so you can see the panel fits inside and sits in here. So on three sides of this, out, of the outside two panels, it's got three edges of the angle to clip to attach to. So I'm gonna put some flat bar runners in here. So the middle panel has got not only the ends to bolt onto, it's also got something in the middle to hold it. So that's the frame, and it's approximately 1610 by about 1070 across here. And this will run across the van. I've got these L-shaped brackets are made from 50 by six aluminum flat bar. And this is aluminum box, 40 by 25 by three, and it'll run across the van. So this front, the, the aluminum frame with the solar panels in it will sit on top of these. And of course there'll be two of these and they'll be spaced approximately 550 apart. So there'll be two of them running across the van and the, that's approximately 2270 is the width of the van. And this is a top view. This is the front of the van here. The black rectangle represents the frame. The blue are the three panels. And then you've got that box section, that 40 by 25 by three box rails running across and that little blue and represents that um, th this tab here, th th this L-shaped bracket. So the bracket will bolt onto the side of the van. I'll just show you that now, how it's gonna look. And then these rails will bolt onto that and I'll put a, a tab 
on the frame to that box section rail. Now this frame measures 1610 by 1070. Now my welding bench is only 1600 by 900, so I'm gonna to have to do it across the bench. And I've cut these corners at 45. So what I'll need to do is start one end, I'll tack them together, square it, and then I can turn it around and weld these other, this other brace across. So I'll get the welder out and we'll um, tack these together and square them and, and then weld it properly. And this is a trial fit of the three panels in my aluminium frame. And it's fairly tight, but I mean, I've got a little bit of movement on these panels. A bit of a gap between the middle ones. And that's okay because, like I said, these panels will bolt. The outside ones will have this side, down this long edge, and back the other side has as mounting points. And that's the same on both of the outside two panels. However, the middle panel will just have bolts top and bottom. So I'm going to run a strap down the, the gap and I'll get, have something to bolt onto. I just want to show you the bolt holes and what I've come up with for that too. And these are the two supporting straps that I've uh, told you about before. They need to be welded in place. And this is what the, the middle panel will sit on because it's only got you know support here and here. So this will give me good support for the panel and I'll be able to mark and drill those holes. So I'll get on and weld that now and then we'll look at making that jig and we'll drill the holes and mount the panels in. Now as you can see these panels on the underside they've got these two elongated holes here and two here. There's a further bolt hole further down on the long side and that pattern is, is the same across all four corners. Oh, I'm at the glare. So what that means for me is I need to be able to mark these holes on the I need to be able to mark those holes on the aluminium frame here so I can drill the hole and then be able to put the bolts in and there's not a lot of room you, you know you can't get in there but from underneath you will be able to so what I've come up with is a rather clever design so uh, I've designed a template that has the center of these four holes, actually these five holes, marked on it and it's a 90 degree shape and I can use it to lay it inside the aluminium frame, mark the holes and then drill them so I can make the bolt holes. So uh, I'll show you how I did that and we're going to cut the template out. Um, I'm going to see if my twin brother Rusty's around from Rusty's Metal Cut Signs and Designs and he can actually make it for me and if he's not I'm going to sneak into his plasma cutter and I'm going to do it without him knowing. Okay so let's get on to that. Well this is Inkscape and this is the template that I created and basically as I said before the series of holes in the on the underside edge of the solar panel that's what these four represent and this one down here represents the uh, hole that was on the long side of the panel. What I've done is I've duplicated that over here so I can actually use the template in any configuration. If I need to flip it over to put it on the opposite side of the panel, um, I can do that. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll, when I mark the panel where it goes on that frame, I can then use this and reference these pilot holes as bolt holes to bolt the panel onto the um, onto the, the frame. Okay, so what we need to do now is take this design and open it up in the MyPlasm cutting software. And if my twin brother Rusty's not around, I'm just going to steal his table and we're going to cut one of these. So that's the next thing we need to do. 
Okay, so what we need to do now is come over here and open up the MyPlasm software. Import this solar panel template that I showed you in Inkscape. Uh, I'll just set the size because it's 220 by 220. And if you see here, if we just zoom in, we'll find out where the where number five is. That's number five. Okay, so we'll start that there, which is number six. We'll put that over into the um, cut software. I've conf I'll configure my settings to sixteen gauge. Where are we? And yeah, sixteen gauge mild steel. We're set to twenty seven amps. These are my cut settings, and I've just zeroed the torch. We've got the torch in the uh, front left corner of the piece of plate now we've got to tell the torch here by using this option that we are in this part of the cut path all right so we hit the start button this should go around and cut it There's my template cut out, and I'll just lift that out of here. Those holes are quite clean. I'll just go and clean it and dry it off, and uh, I'll show you how we're going to use it to mark the bolt holes in the uh, angle iron frame to hold the panels in place. And just going back to the underside of the solar panel again, here is my template, and those holes that are there, and if I lay that or square that up on the frame, those holes are directly over those slotted ones and they're a five mil hole so what i'll do is i'll take this and put it in the corner of the angle iron frame and just space it a tiny bit and what i've been using for spaces never throw anything away these are the weights out of the bottom of your vertical blinds well i've used these as a spacer to line up the gap around the edge of the solar panel in the frame so if i put one of them there and put one of them there and square that now I can mark those holes into the frame and get them perfectly aligned so the solar panel can bolt in. So I'll go ahead and mark all those, I'll drill them and I'll show you how that looks when I've drilled it and then I'll be able to bolt the panels in. And with all these holes marked in pen all the way around the edge and up through the middle, I can now go ahead and center punch all these and I'll drill them. Now I'm gonna drill a six and a half mil hole. I'm gonna use six mil domed Allen head bolts coming in from the bottom side, from, from the inside of the solar panel. And the slots in the solar panel are actually nine mil wide, 14 mil long. So that six and a half mil hole in here definitely gives me a little bit of room for movement if I need it. So that'll, that'll give me the clearance I need just to make sure that all the panels fit perfectly in this frame. Now up here on the uh, roof of the caravan, I've got this piece of 40 by 25 um, box that I'm going to use as my rails. And I've just laid it across the roof to get some idea of how flat the roof is. And it's a little bit got a bow in it, that's okay. But I've sort of got a gap here, approximately 25 mil both sides. So I'm going to run with that. And what I need to do is I've got my, um, I'm not sure, square gauge. It's not, a, it's not a square, it's, I've put it on the side here and I've leveled that up with that bar and I've gone away and measured that angle so it's not quite 90. So I'll show you what I've done. There's my gauge on here. I want the upstand of this L-shaped bracket to be 130 up the side of the van which gives me room to clear that roof and I want 120 sticking out towards the van instead of being a 90 it's not 90 it's less than 90 so I've done a few quick measurements a bit of calculations and I've worked out that the sign of that angle in there is yeah five degrees 15 minutes 
So what I need to do now is bend that 50 by 6 flat bar, but instead of making it 90, I've got, instead of being a 90, as you can see, it's not 90, I've got to bend it 85 degrees. So that's my next job, is to cut the 50 by 6 aluminium flat bar and go and bend it. So I'll do that now. Now, so I'm bending this flat bar at a 42 degree angle off the horizontal, which is 84 degrees, it's supposed to be 85, a little bit of spring in the aluminium. So we'll just try that, but that should be uh, pretty good. Yeah, not quite 90, it looks good there. And here are these four brackets, I've now bent them. So I've got 130 on this side, sticks out 120, what I need to do now is just determine where I'm going to put the holes here that bolt onto the side of the caravan roof. And I've measured it, and I'm going to use 30 mil as my reference. So up from the edge 30, or the inside dimension from there, come down 100. So I'm going to make a little gauge. I'm going to make come down 100, measure my two holes. I've got some Allen head bolts, 10 mil by 25. So if I make a gauge and drill these, from that point as a reference and do all the same. I know the bolt holes are in exactly the same place and then I'll duplicate that on the, on the uh, roof of the van. So I'll go ahead, mark and drill all these and I'll show you when we bolted them in. Oh, and then once I've done that, I've, I've then got to work out where my box is gonna sit on top of here, but I'll do that once I've got these in place. Now I've just made this uh, template and it's 130 mil long, measured from this end, down 100, I've drilled two pilot holes, and these will be the holes that bolt this bracket onto the side of the van in that configuration. So what I'm gonna do now is using this template, lay that on there, clamp it, push it up against that inside edge, clamp it, mark those two holes so they will be in the, in the right place on all four, and then take this over onto the carrot, then take this over onto the edge of the van, line that up with the bottom of the, the roof, clamp that on, square it up, and then use those two holes as my pilot holes that line up with this. So, fingers crossed, I've, I've done this correctly, and I can drill all these, drill the roof, and then bolt all these on. And these are the four brackets, and I've gone ahead and drilled the two holes that will mount the um, 40 by 25 rail on them. And I used the same principle. I used my gauge, drilled these, marked these holes and drilled them so I can use them as reference for the rail. And I'll just show you what that looks like. So we're talking about, there's the bracket of those two holes we'll have to reference them in there once we get it on. So next job is to mark the, the, uh, the roof, the center line, and then go 550 mil between this rail and his mate up here. So we've got to find the center and then split the 550, what's that, 275. So come out 275 from the center, mark and bolt these on. So that's, that's the next thing to do. Now apologies for the noise on the roof, it's raining at the moment. So now I've got my center line, I've measured 275 and then 25 either side of that to, count, to, to make allowances for this template I'm using. So my 275 is here and then I've measured 25 by 25 and I've just squared this template. Pretty good there. So I lock that in place, I can now drill those two holes which are my pilot hole, which will correspond to this bracket. And then I'll be able to bolt that in place. So I'll drill these, and then I'll just use a step drill to take it up to 10 mil. And I'll do the same for all four corners. Once I've got it bolted up, we'll see how it looks. Well, the bracket's in place. All four of them are securely bolted. Now these bolts are dome head Allen bolts. 
The reason I've done that is because up under here, up under here, I didn't want anything sharp that was going to catch any of this when this when this when this vinyl skirt compresses when the roof comes down. And this is a brand new skirt, so I thought, no, I'm going to put them on the inside. Now I'll just show you the the first rail. So I've put this rail in place. So it, it's just sitting there, but it bolts on there. And I've got the other one to make. And once they're bolted in, then I can put the aluminium frame on the top, work out where it'll fit to centralize it. And I've got a welder tab. So I still need to drill a hole in here somewhere to bolt the tab from the angle iron onto here. So, all right, I've got one more of these rails to make. And I've just tried this rail in the back set of brackets and it fits perfectly so I can just duplicate this one now. So I've got to make another one of these and then I'll move on and put that frame up here, work out where it sits centrally on this assembly and then I can weld the little brackets on to bolt it down. So I'll get on and do that now. And the four brackets are in, the two rails are sitting across the, the brackets they're sitting there with their bolts in them, but I haven't done the bolts up because I've got to take them off again. So what I've done now is I'm going to, with them sitting in place, I can put the solar panel frame up here, work out where the little tabs have got to go to secure the frame to these rails. And I've got to weld them on and I've got to drill a hole somewhere down in here, four holes to hold that whole frame down. So I'll put that frame on and show you what it looks like. And this is how the uh, angle iron frame that'll hold the solar panels, how that fits on those rails. All I need to do now is cut some 50 by 50 by 6 angle and I'll put it in here and we'll drill a hole in here and we'll weld those tabs to this frame. So I've got to get that pretty, pretty accurate. And that's the next thing that we've got to do. So that's how it looks as a trial fit. All right, I've had a bit of a thought about this mounting tab on here and I've decided to go with a piece of angle the same as this. This is 40 by 3. And if I put that on there and just line it up with the front, then I can weld this piece to the frame. So I can weld that to there. And then drilling, marking and drilling this hole here is going to be a bit easier. Plus it's a bit, of, it's, it's a bit more strength on that frame rail. So I'm going to go that way instead. Um, the plan's always a good plan and you're allowed to change your mind. So uh, that's where I'm going to go. Mark it, weld it in place to the frame, then come back and drill these pilot holes. Then I can take these rails out, drill them, and then we're ready to put this baby together. And this is the final test fit. Now that I've welded this piece of angle iron onto both sides, I've drilled my holes, so I've got my bolts sitting in. They're not done up, but they're just sitting in. Everything lines up really nicely. I'm, yeah, it should have, but pleased it did. Yeah, I'm really pleased with the way this has come out. Okay, so now it's time to take this frame off. I'm going to bolt the three solar panels into the frame, and then we get to lift it back up for the last time, do all these bolts up, and run the cables down the side and go in and pick up the uh, input to the DC-DC charger on the solar input side. Now before I bolt the panels into the frame, I'm going to put a strip of uh, handy seal down along these edges, all the way down here. And I'm using this product here, Moraday Handy Seal. Now this is 4.8 mil thick, 25 mil wide, it's a 10 meter roll. So I'm gonna lay that all the way around and I'll do all that and then when I pop the solar panel in it's just got a little tiny bit of cushion to pull up against. Probably doesn't need it but yeah I know I do this sort of stuff. And this is what I'm going to use to bolt the solar panel to the frame. I'm using a 6mm by 25 allen head bolt and this is one of these large 25mm um, by 6mm washer. And the reason for that is when you can see under here there's quite a big slot so in order to put the bolt in let me just do this i'll get it in from the back side i just want to cover that slot up so i don't have a washer trying to pull hard on it and get caught there so that's what i'm going to be doing so next thing now is to 
bolt the panels and yeah and I'm using a just an ordinary an ordinary washer on the nut side and I'm using nylocks and these are these uh, three into one connectors that I'm using these solar panels come with these uh, MC4 plugs and the male and the female distinguishes whether it's positive or negative um, so yeah that's the that's the negative one and positive one I've got a cable that runs from there down into the caravan so we're going to hook these up and we're going to put it up on the roof and we've got the solar panel array as my mate called it this morning um, up on top of the roof we've bolted everything down all these bolts are done up tight and that's not going anywhere and all I've got to do now is run the cables down the other side and get them into my cabinet so when the pop top roof is closed you'll need a loop of cable and what I've done is I've run this cable down here and I've used these I'm not quite sure what they're called they're some sort of spring clip so I can pop it out and pop it back in again right so I've popped it back in and then down here I've got another one to hold it and the two cables that just come through this junction box and that goes through the wall into the electrical cabinet straight onto the uh, solar input so I tried it when I tried to lift the roof, but this cable got snagged. This cable here got snagged in this clip. So that means I'm going to have to make sure I remember to unclip it before I lift the roof. And I'll show you how it looks with the roof up. So with the pop top extended, as you can see, I've got the cable comes down and it's a bit loose here, but that's okay. Through this supporting clip, and then the two cables, the positive and negative, come into this junction box. And with the roof down, as you can see, you get this loop of cable, and that's what you'll end up with. But if I can do this one-handed with the camera in the other. There you go. Yeah, see? How easy was that? And then the cable lays flat against the van. As you can see, it's not really it's not protruding at all. And that'll hold it in place while I'm driving. And it's not going to be hanging out and get caught on anything. So I'm really pleased with that install. The... Uh, panels on the roof all look good and I'll just show you how they perform okay so this panel meter in the caravan shows the 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 current that's coming out of the solar panels currently doing 11.1 .1 amps and the voltage is the working voltage of the solar panels now I think they're rated at 20.4 amps and 4.9 amps each so if you multiply 4.9 by 3 it's nearly 15 we're doing 10 11 at the moment and if you have a look at here, this, this number here, 204 watts that's showing here, I guess that's the product of the volts times the, the amps. And those panels rated at 300 in total. I'm getting 200, so there's a little bit of potential left in the, the output, uh, but that's currently what I'm getting. So this meter here, which is the uh, battery monitor. So the, currently the battery is at 13.5 volts that's that 200 amp hour lithium and we're currently got 13 amps going into the battery and the battery is currently 95 percent now that the current being green means that's all what's going in if there was nothing going in and the fridge was running and it was pulling power out that number goes blue and if the we've got 13 amps going in but the fridge pulls three that would show 10 but it will be green so I've just got to be so you can sort of see what the net effect is so yeah so we're doing 11 amps 18 19 volts more than happy with that installation uh, what are we 11 o'clock in the morning the sun's on the panels on the roof and be, and even laying flat I'm more than happy to get that sort of current coming out of those panels so uh, yeah I'm really happy with that installation um, it was something on my list of jobs I needed to do a while ago and yeah really happy with the setup and for as I said for panels laying flat I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of that what I really think I should be getting so uh, yeah that's so that that's how it works in full sun well I'm really pleased with the way this solar panel installation turned out on my prospecting caravan as you saw in that uh, previous clip we were getting 11 amps out of the system. I actually saw 12.2 at one stage, 
and obviously the current you get out is dependent on the state of charge of the battery. So as the battery is topped up to full, what's required to charge the battery is a lot less. So anyway, the three panels on the roof gives me 300 watts, theoretically, gives me 300 watts of solar charging my battery, which will certainly keep me in good stead when I'm out in the bush. I still have the original um, Anderson plug at the back where I can plug a portable panel into, so on a cloudy day I can plug another panel in and boost that solar coming into my battery. I do need to be mindful of the solar input limit that I have on that Red Arc DC-DC charger. I believe it's around 400 watts. So I've got more than enough capacity from the solar I've got at the moment and I'd only be using that extra panel if it was a cloudy day. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, a thumbs up would be appreciated. If you give it a thumbs down because there's something you don't like, I'd appreciate you putting in the comments below what it was you didn't like because I'm always trying to you know, make better content. And if you have any comments or questions about what you saw uh, that I used in this video, please put them in the comments below. I'll certainly answer all your questions. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, and we'd love to have you along, the subscribe button's down here. If you'd like to support the channel, uh, there's a link in the description down below to buy me a coffee. The support I get is tremendous, and I really appreciate the ongoing support I get. So, so that's it for this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.